Hello, welcome to your love reading. Welcome to Silavi Tarot. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so right now, one of the things that we are going to do is we are going to get messages from your person since you've been gone, okay? Since you've been gone, how has this person been feeling? Oh, let me put my ring on. How has this person been feeling since you've been gone? What are some of the things that this person would like to say but they haven't said? right? So I am going to get these messages out for you. Now, to connect, to get the messages that resonate with you, hit the like button, of course, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, bell here, and let's get started. So, and I want you to think about this person. Visualize this person, all right? Visualize this person here. How has this person been feeling? Since my viewers have been silent, have since my viewers have been gone. All right. How has this person been feeling? How have they been feeling? Your silence. Here we go. This. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There. There we go. It says your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again, despite how much I miss you. Okay. So this person feels like, especially if you haven't spoken to this person in a while, all right? And what I mean by in a while, I don't mean two days. For some of you, it's been a few weeks, it's been a month, it's been a few months here. And I feel like this person's contemplating, like they're thinking, they're analyzing, they're rationalizing, and they're saying, you know what, the silence, it, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It was okay at first, but now I'm not sure how to feel about this silence here. Now, this is someone here, okay, I'm just going to be very clear with a lot of you here. You're connecting with someone that loves to drown in their feelings, which means I don't really like to express myself, even when it hurts, even when it's bothering me. I'm in the shower and I keep thinking about you and I keep thinking about us. I I feel like it's like this safe place. It, it's interesting and some of you may understand where I'm coming from, especially if you're connecting with someone that's not used to not used to chasing, okay? Not used to going after what they want. Typically, they connect with people that just come after them. This is someone here that's saying, all right, you know, may maybe I could take the silence for a little bit. Maybe I could cope with this. Maybe this will make sense in a few days to me. But then what? But then I start missing you. This person is saying, despite how much I miss you. So someone here is already coming in and saying, I do miss you. Now, this is also a message of I have unhealthy attachments and obsessions. So a lot of you could be connecting with someone here that's like when they've fallen in love in the past or when they've been in connections where they felt out of control to some degree. This was someone here that would become very obsessed or very attached, very possessive. And they fear that side of them coming out. They fear that side of them desiring somebody to the point where that's all they could think about, which, again, I feel like this person's thinking about you a lot. But it's like, I don't know if I'm ready to show you that. I don't know if... I, let me just run. Let's get some more messages because I feel like there's more that needs to be heard here. There's more. There's more. There has to be more. I could feel like there's more here. So someone here, it's like for a little bit, they believe this silence is, is like a safety net, right? Like it's, it's safe, it's cool, all right. If you're silent, I get it, right? And that's the ego sometimes. But what happens if the silence moves into a duration that you're not sure of or... Okay. So someone here is admitting, it says, you are the love of my life. There's something about that statement, love of my life. Some of you may resonate with that. Love of my life here. I failed to see that until now. I know our love was real, okay? And that's something that I really want a lot of my viewers to understand. I know some of you, 
that contact me, that speak to me via personal reading sometimes, you'll ask me, Silla Vitero, was this real? Was this real? Was this something here that was felt both ways here? And of course I dig, right? I dig and I look into it for you and spirit normally answers that question, good or bad. But for a lot of you that are connecting with someone here, this person is admitting like this was real. This wasn't fake. This wasn't made up. This wasn't something that was fabricated. It wasn't, it wasn't a fabrication and you're not delusional. You're not the only one feeling this. We had a real connection. Didn't you feel it? In my eyes, in my energy, in my touch, in my kiss. Didn't you feel it? You felt you had to feel it. That's why you're here. So again, for some of you that are asking that question, it was real. All right, let me just clarify that for you. This person is like, listen, Silavi, could you tell them for me? Will you tell this person the truth for me, please? I got you. Okay. Clarify more of the feelings during this time frame. We're going to get another shuffle here. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? We're going to get two shuffles. Okay. Let's get two shuffles in here. Now, what's the truth? How does person feel? Thank you. Separation. We have a third party here. This person feels like you're connecting with other people. This person is feeling like you moved on. Okay. This person is noticing that this is a past life connection. This person is, is in a place where they're saying to themselves, this separation is going to possibly cause me to lose you. Okay, let's, let's get this a little bit on this side. All right. This person is saying, if I take any longer, I may lose you here. Okay, this person is wondering, like, if you moved on from them, if you're no longer interested, as time goes on here, we have someone here asking themselves, are you, are you the one? As if like, as if I feel like this person is going back and forth and saying, spirit, is this the one here? We have someone here wanting to rekindle this connection. Also, could you remember our song? Could you remember our promise? There's something about music here that's very interesting. Someone accidentally admitted their, I don't wanna say accidentally, but that's what happened. Someone here accidentally admitted their love. Like I told you that I loved you. I expressed that I loved you. I sent you a song. I told you how much I cared for you here. Rekindling is big in this energy. Someone is very nervous about the separation because they feel like you're possibly going to move on. Especially because of the way that they've been acting. Anything else here, Spirit? Let's get something about this connection that possibly my viewers don't know. This person feels like you would reject them if they were to come forward right now. Maybe this person notices that you're upset with them or you're still holding a grudge. It says being apart has been more difficult than I could actually accept. Okay? I can't continue this way any longer. I want to say something to you. I want to open up to you here. Yeah, this person's struggling with, with just the intensity of this connection, honestly. With how deep it is. With how life-changing it is. At first, I feel like this person came in and they were just like, you know what, I, I want to be selfish. I want to focus with I want to focus on other things here. And this person started to notice that this is becoming difficult. So this person was at first thinking very superficially. They were thinking in a way of, oh, you'll always be there. Or, you know, this is not as intense as I may actually think it is here. This person has felt like you've lost respect for them.
This person feels like you've lost respect for them here. And I feel like one of the reasons why this person's feeling this way, maybe some of you could have told this person or maybe you could express this, this energy towards this person. But this person's coming in in this reading and saying like, you think and you believe that I don't care about this connection, but deep down inside, I actually really do. I really do care about this connection. There's something big about respect here. This person feels like you don't respect them. Look, we have no one else makes me feel the way that you do. But I'll take it to the grave before I admit that to you. This person's afraid of rejection. Okay? I regret it is coming in right now. I regret it. Okay? You always had my best interest at heart. And I failed to believe in us. And I failed to... This person really played with this. And I really don't feel like this is someone here that's immature. I don't, you know, I don't feel that way. I just feel like this is someone here that really needs to release a lot of stagnant energy or working on themselves, working on, you know, accepting healthier relationships. Some There's an energy of I want to have healthy relationships here. And some of you, yes, you know, I will say for some, not everybody, this person separated and moved into different things or, you know, introduced other people into the relationship. Some of you felt like this person was more concerned about going out, concerned about their friends, concerned about other things rather than concerning um, or making the relationship a priority. But we have a very strong energy of this person saying, you know, is rekindling on the table. All right. In the extended, if you're interested in the extended, I'll jump in to see in the next few weeks here actions that this person will take. All right. But more importantly, the advice spirit has for you in terms of how to deal with this, how to cope with this here. OK, I love you. Have a beautiful one. Have a beautiful week. I hope to hear from you soon. I hope to speak to you soon here. And again, I love you. Have a good one reached out okay why hasn't this person reached out what has been going on with this person like what's going on why hasn't this person reached out we need to get a little bit more in terms of how they're feeling about you and the actions that they plan on taking all right so first card coming out